गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज मानस पटनायक योर फ्रेंड एंड ट्यूटर द प्रॉब्लम दैट आई विल डिस्कसिंग टूडे हैज बीन सेंड टू मी बाई इंस्टाग्राम बाई वन ऑफ आर सब्सक्राइबर्स फ्रॉम टी आई ई टी दैट इज थाप इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक पटियाला दिस इज फ्रॉम द टॉपिक प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ लाइट्स टू बी वेरी स्पेसिफिक इट इज अ केस ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ लाइट्स आई फाउंड दिस प्रॉब्लम टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट एंड वन मोर थिंग आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड अ कैड मॉडल ऑफ द एंटायर अरेंजमेंट सो दैट यू गाइज कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दिस वुड लुक फ्रॉम द फ्रंट हाउ दिस वुड लुक फ्रॉम द टॉप okay all of this these things and much more coming up in today's session so watch this video right till the end so that you have a firm grasp on the concept of projection of lights here we go let's start so there are two poles pole p and pole q this is the top of pole p this is the bottom this is top of pole q and this is the bottom of pole q the height of pole q has been mentioned to us in the question that is 130 mm however pole p's height has not been given this is something that we need to work out okay secondly foot to foot from pole p to pole q this measurement this distance has been given as 94 mm and the distance between their projectors is 80 mm one more thing that is worth mentioning is the foot of the pole is at a distance of 30 mm from the vp however no such no such dimension or measurement is given for this pole q so what are the things that we have been asked we have been asked number 1 to find the distance of point q from vp okay how far is this point q from the vertical plane that has to be worked out secondly height of the shorter pole this is rather easy thirdly you have to find the length of elevation by the way elevation happens to be a civil engineering term so please note if there is a mention of elevation it directly means it is front view okay so you need to work out the front view length if the top of these two poles are connected by a wire right so you you basically need to find the length of the wire from the front right the projected one okay so far so good i think we we can begin this question and there are going to be two drawings which we'll make uh, one more data that i missed please read this the shortest distance of point p from the xy line is 50 mm uh we have already solved such questions in case of projection of points where the distance of a point from the xy line also has been given to us so how do you make projections in such a case this can be worked out okay please note shortest distance of point p from the line from xy line so xy line is nothing but it is basically an intersection of vp and hp okay let me start as i said this is going to happen in two phases in phase 1 we are going to simply make a drawing for point p and from that we will calculate the height of point p or the length of the pole right and then once we have that information we'll implement it for the final projection of both the poles which connects or whose tops have been connected with the help of this wire which is cyan in color you can see this okay shortest distance what do you mean take a look shortest distance of point p from the xy line this is the xy line so there are infinite points along this line how do we know out of those infinite points which point which uh, which is that point that we shall pick or choose let's say randomly we take any point along the xy line we connect it with point p is this the shortest distance first of all let me make the measurement from here until we reach here and by the way we are in the 3d environment as you can see the measurement works out as 75 so this is not the shortest distance now let me get a bit closer let's say we choose this point along the xy line and we connect it with the topmost point again if you try to do a measurement how much is this working out 53 so that again is the not not the shortest distance but we are ultimately getting closer now let me choose this point and if we connect it with the top of the pole you know you will get the answer now try to do the measurement how much does this work out 
sir it is working out as 50 so the shortest distance by the way students please note let me delete these two lengths shortest distance can only be seen from the left hand side view this is that shortest distance and by the way this is 30 once again this is 30 this has been given as 50 so please apply your mind using pythagoras theorem you can easily work out if this is 30 this is 50 this is going to be under root of 50 square minus 30 square that is 40 so you now know the answer that the height of this pole p is nothing but 40 millimeters only do you get this okay easy okay uh, <clears throat> now i think we can go ahead and uh, we should start with our first construction as i said i am going to make this entire solution into two phases in phase one we are going to just look for height of the pole p so this very small uh, arrangement will do justice vp hp pp front view top view and left hand side view. the distance of point p from the vp is 30 this is 30 okay that's 30 and if it is point view since it is top view that is it is going to be p that is number one we don't know about p dash p dash is going to be somewhere here i don't know the exact length then we can go for side view so please note when you go for the side view this rotation has to be done at an angle of 45 degrees or simply you can use your compass keep your steel end and this pencil end over here rotate until you reach here right now what we'll do is we are going to chip off this portion and we are going to start from here i don't know how high it is let's randomly draw it as i said that this is the shortest distance and the true length of the shortest distance can be seen from the side view so what basically we are doing is we have made this we've made this okay uh, i mean we have not made this exactly we have made this is 30 and this is 50 so we are going to cut an arc of 50 the moment you do that you are going to get this length as 40 just check this out let's take this as the center let's punch in the value of the arc radius as 50 and this is what you get connect with this origin and here you go this length is going to be equal to 50 millimeters can you see this we are going to do the dimensioning also don't worry and now we let us simply connect and here we go okay if this is p there is p double dash over here in the profile plane and then there is going to be p dash right you can chip off this portion done what do we need sir we were actually given this was given to us okay and we have worked out this this is 40 and the this 50 was given to us so these two datas were given to us distance from vp and shortest distance from xy were given to us and we finally got this value okay the height of the point p you can see which happens to be the length of the pole so one of the answers we've got it height of the shorter pole this is we've achieved now <clears throat> to finally know how how far is uh, point q and uh, what is the length of the elevation for these two things in what we really need to do is take a look uh, let me copy this <sighs> okay if you watch the distance between these two projectors is 80 and then you can draw this line randomly of any length right how far it is from this foot at a distance of 94 so we'll be implementing all of these steps in sequence 
at a distance of 80 from here at a distance of 80 let me simply make a line at random of any length let me just make it right and now we are going to implement this the distance between these two is 94 so with p as the center and with 94 as the radius 94 as the radius we are going to cut an arc and this happens to be your point q okay and similarly what we can do is this height has been given to us this height has been given as 130 millimeters so you can simply punch in 130 and there you go so this is q dash right that's q dash and that is q and by the way the top of the poles have been connected with the help of a wire which in this case is cyan in color so i am going to use the same coloring over here also check it out mm. did i go wrong yes i did yeah now and then p dash with this q dash and by the way what we can do is we can change this color and let me increase the thickness here you go that is the entire drawing hmm? we were supposed to find the distance of point q from the vp this can be worked out this is that distance let me against use this so it is working out as 79.4 okay uh, and by the way you can actually uh, do this dimensioning also this was also given to us okay what else uh, we need the length of the front view elevation again it is very easy this is the length of front view elevation so let me just uh, frame all the answers one by one number one distance of point q from vp this is their distance a distance of point q from vp where can you see this distance sir this distance of q from vp can be seen in the top view and this is that top view this is that distance here it is in the top view in the horizontal plane okay 79.4 is your answer number one secondly you need height of the shorter pole height of the shorter pole has been created has been worked out in phase number one this has worked out as 40 millimeters and finally uh, you have length of the elevation or front view of the line pq this is that value 120.4 so these are the three answers i would also want all of you to take a look at this arrangement the 3d arrangement all of these values can be computed directly from here also take a look let me have a copy i'll show you that the front view elevation will have the same value hmm? now if you connect these two points this is q dash this is p dash and please check this out and if you check this out this distance works out as 120.41 okay and this is the same value that we got in the orthographic projection also you see this 120.4 right so these are all the values which we've got i think i think by now you have a fair idea or a good idea how projections of lines can be tackled right so guys yes that was all from my side for today uh if you believe that this content has helped you enrich your knowledge in engineering drawing feel free to like the video share it with as many friends as you can and do like the video also and subscribe to my channel this is manas patnaik signing off take care and have a nice day